So, where are we? Oh, no. We're at the Nairn Sailing Club, maybe for our last time, well this year, or maybe back in the winter. And what are we, what are we doing here? We're on the Celtic night. So this is our last night at the club, the local club, and it's the first time they've been open for two years. Yeah, since the lockdown. So, the boat's, boat's basically ready to go. Groaning under the weight. And uh, yeah, we're, we're moving aboard tomorrow night. And then uh, we're off on Tuesday. Yay, what's we got our crew? So, looking forward to that. Hang on, hang on, I'm going to turn the camera around. Why is it not turning around? You've got sound on as well, have you? Yeah, got sound on as well. Right, right, video. Video. Oh, I've got the new sound on the video. Yeah. We go faster. Say hi to Grandad. Boss, what do you oh. have to say? What do you say, Grandad? Oh, I told you to say. Bon voyage. Say it again. Bon voyage. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we're having a bit of a picnic. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Well, and we've got, we've got the, the grandkids well, as well as yeah. my, my son Nathan and, and his wife Tasha. Hello. And Mary's well, all take. ready for sailing. Well, and we've got a bit of a picnic well, going here yeah. in the sunshine before we go. No. It's difficult to find, but if it's not your natural sort of pressure on your own. It's not yet. What are you doing? Tying the fenders? Mm. Mm. We've got two stowaways now. Okay, bye bye. Bye, no, no, don't let me shut in it. Please. Two stowaways. Please. No, no, it's too dangerous. Please. Not even pretty, please. We're doing some of the final last minute jobs before we sail. Um, topping off the water tanks is always important. We put uh, some sterilizing tablets in, but um, we tend to use bottles of water for drinking and the rest is um, for domestic use on the boat. So that's dawn over the piles of wood in Inverness Marina. <coughs> Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. Still a bit cold here, frosty, but Early morning on the day we're going to set sail in the marina at Inverness. Some last minute shopping to fill the boat up with food and a, a midnight collection of the steps that we use for the boat for a project for the grandchildren. Uh, they're going to become steps at the side of their slide at home so they're going to a good home. So at four in the morning we slipped our lines and gently sailed out of Inverness Marina under the bridge and made our way north. It was a dark night, not much, uh, no, no moon to speak of, but nice to see the lights over in Vanessa as we left. Uh, it's a beautiful sight at night, lots of, lots of lights on the shore. Right, and it's we're and off. underway, um, just going past some property on the way to Wick. So why were we up so early this morning then? Catch the tide from Inverness. So it's going with us, not against us. Good. It's a little bouncy, but not too bad. No wind. No. No, sail. no we've got just dawn just coming up behind us, ahead of us. 
so we're hoping for a nice day but I don't think there's going to be much sailing I think it's yeah it's going to be too light So as you pass up the uh, Murray Firth, you pass slowly across the entrance to the Cromarty Firth, which is headed by two big headlands, the Suitors, uh, it was used for naval um, storage of big vessels and fleets during the wars, and you head gradually up the coast past Tarbot Ness, which is that point there with a big lighthouse on it, and eventually up the coast to Wick, where we're going to stay overnight. Big swell though when we uh, when we got further north. After a long day we arrived in Wick to a great welcome from the harbour, took our lines and uh, made us safe and we look forward to an evening on, on, on the boat. Nice morning in Wick this morning, um, we're planning on leaving here about uh, just after lunchtime and then heading down the Pinland Firth and we're going to do an overnighter right round Cape Roth and down to Loch Inver because there's some Strong Southerlies coming up off uh, Cape Ross, and we need to get around there and, and clear and get Ross and Yvonne uh, back to their car in Loch Inver uh, at some point before Saturday, so that's the, the, the only chance we've got. So yeah, nice and wick, um, very pleasant harbour master. We're apparently the first visitors of the year they've had. There's a surprise, because <coughs> there's snow due next week. So hopefully we avoid that, but anyway, Another day, another story. Hi, you're the first visitors of our season. Welcome to Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. We enjoyed our stay here. Thanks. Thanks for having us. So this is our track up the northeast corner of the country, heading for John O'Groats. We timed it so that we would get to the corner just as the tide changed in our favour. So John O'Groats is the most northeasterly corner of the UK. It's not the most northerly. We'll come to that in a few a few hours. Um, turn this corner and this is where we would have been expecting to see a lot of heavy weather and storm, stormy conditions in, in bad weather. You would get difficult conditions at this corner. But we had a fantastic passage around. Lovely clear day, sunshine, a little bit cool, but great weather. And this is the corner of no return um, with the tide flowing with us. Um, this is the area that probably sailors fear the worst if the weather's not good here and you made the you're making the passage this is the place you're going to begin to see bad swells and wind and tide effects on the water. So after a little bit of sailing along this coast we came to Dunnet Head which is a uh, most northerly point in the UK mainland and there's a lighthouse and a car park at the top of there which we've been to in one of our classic cars. Well, hang on a minute. We get there. We have to get the volume. Get the we have to get the volume up. So, why are you on our boat then? This per who's this person? Yeah, I'm Yvonne. Yeah. And I'm helping Paul and Mary. And my husband, husband Ross, and we are going round 
the north of Scotland to Mount Slipport to Mount Lochinburn. Okay, and have you been sailing a lot? Uh, we've gone maybe for quite a number of years. So we have our own boat, a uh, little Sadler 32, and uh, this is a treat being on, on Akitas. Okay. Ross. Family boat's husband. <laughs> General dog's body. Everybody's yeah, heading round Duncan's new head as we speak into the wrath of the pen of front. Okay, but it is a good it is a good day today for it. We're hoping it's going to be a good day anyway. So at night passage around the corner, have you done many of them? Uh, a couple, uh, not too many. I wasn't thinking that we were going to keep half in the dark. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Don't tempt fate. It could be pretty bouncy around there. <laughs> What's that? The pomelos. The pomelos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the offending articles down here. It's a bag full of fruit, lemons, and pomelos. Oh, what else is in there? Mangoes. Mm. Shetland Coast Guard, Shetland Coast Guard, this is Akitas, Akitas, routine traffic. And this is Castle May, the Queen Mother's old residence and now the most northerly of the royal family's residences and it ties in with the names of May Rocks which is just here and of course the Merry Men of May that we managed to avoid any bad weather in. Shetland Coast Guard, Shetland Coast Guard, Sailing Vessel Akitas reporting we're uh, clearing the uh, end of the Coast Guard reporting area. Over. So having cleared uh, through the Coast Guard reporting area, Ross and I took the boat across the north of Scotland and round Cape Wrath and then got our heads down. And we left the uh, night sailing to the other capable half of the crew, who had a wonderful night sailing I believe. Okay, we're heading in for into Loch Inver and there's the old manor store. safely into Loch Inver, we prepared to have a fry up celebration, Mary with her punk hairstyle, Ross and Yvonne eagerly awaiting their breakfast. Mary and Paul. So we are in pie tasting mode again. We are in pie tasting mode again, yep. yes. And uh, we're in Loch Inver in the famous Loch pie, pie, shop, yeah. pie shop. So uh, what kind do you have Paul? I've got a salmon pie. Mmm. Oh, and Mary, what's yours? Pork and apple. Mmm. What do we, how how far do we rate this one then? Oh, 10 out of 10 for this one. Look at this. Beautiful. It's oh. got lots of stuff in it, but lots I must say my, my Whitby one's best. Mmm. Looks great shape, eh? Yeah. Mmm. It's getting better. <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> you can get them sent by post as well. Mm. Look at the amount of meat and stuff in wow. them. Wow, super. Do you know if there was smell-o-vision, 
Oh, it yeah. smells delicious. <laughs> and say what you've got. Oh, so mine is a chicken and mushroom. And no leek. No chicken leek and mushroom. And Ross, what do you have? Steak and ale. Steak and ale. And yummy. How do you recommend it? Yep. Right, I'm about to get tucked into. Okay. Bye for now. Pontoons that look in were looking a bit worse for wear. They're all tied together with bits of string. I think they've had some damage in a storm. That's not great. Certainly wouldn't recommend it long term. They're all like this. All the sections are tied together with bits of rope. But I think the pins must have broken in them. Well, Akitas is looking splendid in uh, her early spring colours. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, work done over the winter, but she does need a bit of a polish actually if we could get her out of the water and a scrub and that would be nice. We'll just have to see how we get on later in the year. Welcome season two, where this time we're doing things going around via the west. So we're coming down from, we've been around the Pentland Firth. We've come down to Lock Inver to drop our crew and then we went across to Lewis. And headed down the Western Isles, right down uh, through Lewis and Harris and down south. Down to Uist and Mingale and Barra. So that's our, that's our immediate plans and what we're going to do further on from that? Well we're going off just to Greenock to go and see one of my sons who has an, who will have a bootload of posts for us. Yeah. We've been ordering a lot of stuff online. And then to go down and uh, do the Isle of Man. There's some people to visit in Wales. And then we're going to go further south, hopefully up the Bristol Channel, and then maybe the Scilly Isles, and we're hoping the Channel Isles. Yeah, before we come back to the south coast, maybe Plymouth or somewhere who's reasonably priced, to do a few boat jobs and to come up to, back up to the house. Yeah, so we'll leave the boat down south somewhere with somewhere that's much cheapness. And... Um, yeah, well, that's our plans anyway, as far as we've got. But everything's set in jelly, and oh, uh, we'll just uh, go where the wind blows us and enjoy our season. So this year, um, after me having broken my knee in Plymouth, um, I've spent the time recovering. Um, I've been doing physio, and I've also been to the hydro pool, trying to strengthen the leg back up. Um, meantime, we've bought ourselves a new induction hob, uh, for cooking on. Over the winter we've done quite a bit of work on the boat. Um, I've been working converting the uh, lead acid system to lithium so we'll hopefully have a little video on that sometime uh, later. Um, we've also done work on cleaning out the tanks, the diesel tanks, put in a, uh, we're putting in a day tank for the generator which was spluttering and coughing towards the end of last year and we've been trying to upgrade our equipment for uh, videos. So they fitted a bow battery in the bow with uh, controls for that and a, a monitoring system. System. So, so yeah, quite a bit of electrical work and it's taken us a bit to get used to that as we've been travelling around the, the north of Scotland. I think we're just about there now. Most things are working. Most things we understand so we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay, so last Christmas we hired a cottage um, and two of my sons came to stay with us. Um, one's got two girls, so there's eight of us all together, and um, we had brilliant four days um, going out for walks in between the snow and playing games and just generally having a good time and eating. I've been trying to keep myself fit over the winter, going to the gym most uh, weekday, weekday mornings, and also been to Slimming World, so thanks to Slimming World for and all the guys there, Dawn and, and the team there for getting a stone off me, um, stone and a half in fact, and I'm trying to keep myself fit on the boat. That's quite difficult. Um, Next video you see will be us going down the West Niles. So we had great weather for that, so look forward to that. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.